Okay, we're all set to take some real measurements now. The first thing you need to do is make sure the microphone is plugged into the USB port. There's a the microphone, there's the USB port. And also this button here should be turned on, so it should be showing green. And also the HASP key, this HASP key here should also be plugged into a USB port. That unlocks Buzzo Sonic. So that should be plugged in and the microphone should be plugged in before launching Buzzo Sonic. That's very important. So before launching Buzzo Sonic, plug in the microphone, plug in the HASP key and then launch Buzzo Sonic. Now normally when Buzzo Sonic opens it's all set to go. I turned off a little button here which is described in the instructions. It's called the analyze button. That should be turned on. So as you can see when I'm talking now it's actually doing some analyses in the background. Now we'll put the sample on the knife edges as before. Okay, the sample's ready. Now we can do a test. Very simple. We tap it on one end with a small impulse tool. And we get 1,281, as you can see. Or perhaps you can see the peak there. There's only one peak in this case, it's very simple. It's also loaded, it shows it in the table. And that's all there is to it. So now you've taken a measurement with Buzzle Sonic. We've got the resonant frequency, the out of plane, flexural resonant frequency. And as you may recall, we can also tap the material in the centre. So let's do that. And I get the same result. And of course I can use the, the uh, screwdriver. And I get the same number, but now that was the waveform was too high. If you see the waveform, it's, uh, it's all above the 100% maximum value. So obviously you could turn the gain down on the microphone, or just use the lighter impulse tool in this case. We don't need the screwdriver. So let's take that measurement again with a small impulse tool. Turn this off now. Now we can launch the elastic constants module from the menu. Let me zoom in. Launching the elastic constants module. Now I've already filled in these values, but basically you fill in the values, the, you select the, uh, the units, fill in the length, the width, the height, the mass, then you're set to go. All we have to do now is click on this row, on the table below here, so you, let me just go down there. You select in the table there, and it will send that frequency to the elastic constants module. We select a Poisson's ratio, and there we get the values. So in this case I selected a Poisson's ratio and you can see there we've got a Young's modulus of 3.9 gigapascals or 568 kilo PSI. And that's all there is to it.